in this video, I'm going to show you how to share your Google form responses with other people. So first thing we're going to do is just open up our Google form. And you can see that this is a form that I created earlier. So once you're in your form, click on the responses tab. And obviously here, we're going to be able to see all of our responses. Now, in order to share these answers with other people, there's basically three different methods. So in order to share these answers with other people, there's basically three different ways to do this. The first method is you can just go and give someone else access to this sheet. Now you can do that by clicking on the share icon in the top navigation, and then you can go and invite this person by email. So I'm just gonna type in a random email address here. Then go and select their email address from the list and select the type of access you want to give this person. So because we want them to be able to see the responses, I'm gonna set this to editor and then go and press send. Now, once this person goes and accepts that invite that we just sent them, they'll then be able to come over to this form and see the responses directly from here. Now, another way to share responses is you could just come back over to the responses tab, click on the three vertical dots and select download responses.csv. Now that's going to download all of these responses into a spreadsheet file. And as you can see, here's all of our recorded data. So now that we've downloaded this file to our computer, you could just go and simply share this file to whoever you need to access this data. And the final method of doing this is if I come back over to the Google form, this time we're gonna select view in sheets. And this is going to show you the same information that we just downloaded. And what you can do to share this with other people is click on the share button in the top right hand side. Make sure under general access, we've changed this to anyone with the link click on the copy link button and press done. And now you can just go and send that link to whoever you need to access this file. So I can go and send it in an email or a message. It's entirely up to you. And it's really as simple as that, guys. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.